a young genius, a member of top secret Cold War think tanks, and the first female Native American engineer in the United States. Mary Golda Ross, a member of the Cherokee Nation, was one of the country's most brilliant minds of the 20th century. Her story begins in 1908 in Park Hill, Oklahoma. As a child, Ross was a high achiever and was often the only girl in her math and science classes. She completed high school at the age of 16 and then obtained a bachelor's degree at 20, something achieved by less than 2% of women at the time. Immediately after graduating, Ross became a statistician for the Bureau of Indian Affairs and then taught at a Native American boarding school in New Mexico. She was the great-great-granddaughter of Chief John Ross, who was described as a Moses of his people. After teaching for some years, Ross decided to go back to school to obtain her master's degree. It was during a visit to California that she was hired as a mathematician at the Lockheed Corporation. She was the only female engineer to work on the company's then top secret think tank. Ross also worked on the creation of the Poseidon and Trident missiles. They were ballistic missiles created for submarine launch. She continued to work on aviation projects, pioneering research for the P-38 Lightning plane, a fighter plane that came close to breaking the sound barrier. Other engineers feared the P-38 would collapse during dives, but Ross proved them wrong. After Lockheed, Ross moved on to NASA, where she developed operational requirements for the Agena spacecraft, helped write NASA's planetary flight handbook, and created flight concepts to Mars and Venus. She even worked on design concepts that were a part of the Apollo lunar mission. Her accomplishments don't stop there, but much of the engineer's missile work during the Cold War still remains classified today. Ross retired in 1973, founded the Los Angeles chapter of the Society of Women Engineers, and continued to mentor young Native Americans in pursuit of STEM careers. She lived to be 99 years old. Ross rewrote the cultural narrative about what Native Americans and women can accomplish. Today, she's remembered for her contribution to space and science. Next year, she'll be honored by appearing on the Native American Dollar.